Celtics fans, if you decided to sit out the first half of this game to watch the Masters, congratulations, you made a wise choice because those first 24 minutes were completely ugly and it really looked like the Celtics were going to go down 0-1 to the Pacers in this series. But just like Tiger, they staged a comeback and topped Indiana 84-74. to This is not a series for the timid. I mean, we've known that going in. This is a heck of a team with a heck of a coach, and um, we're going to have to play. You know, the minute you left your foot off the gas or don't play the right way, you're going to get beat. The Celtics' first half was sloppy and chock full of turnovers. The starting lineup came out flat on the offensive side of the ball, with Marcus Morris coming off the bench as the unlikely points leader. You know, I just try to enter the game and stay aggressive. Uh, you know, I got a couple of bigs guarding me, and, you know, just trying to space the floor and, and you know, read their closeouts and, you know, they were closing out, you know, pretty short. So, you know, just letting the game come to me and, you know, just coming in trying to make an impact. You know, it's not so much about scoring as much as just the attitude coming in and just really just throwing himself into the game. Um, I appreciated that. I think we all did. Everything changed in the third quarter. Boston went on a 26 to 8 run and never looked back. To be in a dog fight like that and <laughs> I don't know, did we score 90 points? No. So, <laughs> you know, and I've been in a few playoff games where I've been on both ends, but um, you know that's where the really gritty individuals make their mark, and uh, you know just the focus level on the game plan really comes to an ultimate level. So a strong defensive effort gives the Celtics the early edge in this series. They'll be back here in Boston Wednesday night for Game Two against the Pacers. Until then, reporting from TD Garden, Megan Adelini, the Boston Herald.